Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here I have the G.I. Joe uh, Classified Series Lady J. So here's the front for you. You get that picture of Lady J there with some of the G.I. Joe symbols in the background uh, in red. And you get the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo there, Lady J. Uh, and then here's the side there with all the G.I. Joe symbols there, 25th figure. Uh, G.I. Joe symbol there. Here's back with the uh, same artwork that we've seen before. And here's the uh, other side with a picture of Lady J with that star there. And on the top, you get that star there too uh, with number 25. And here's Bond with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here's Lady J in the packaging. I'm sorry about all this mess here, but I have a big project I'm doing. Um, and I'll show you guys what it is at the end. But uh, let's go over the accessories first. So she gets two of these staffs here. Pretty cool scope to get, uh, sculpt. You get the, like the little grip here. You get a little peg here, which I'll show you what that is for. You get a little pointy tip there. Uh, we get two of those. So there's those for you. And then we get a little tiny knife here. It's all black. I wish they would just paint the blade silver at least there. Um, and then these are the things that you're supposed to peg into the staffs here. So you get these blades here. So at least they've actually painted the silver, the blades. And you get this uh, pl plug-in area for the pegs. Um, nice sculpt for those. You get two of these blades. And then you get this other piece here that does the same thing. But I have no idea what it is for. Uh, but I know you're supposed to plug it in at one of the things. So I don't know what type of thing this is supposed to be in for and then you get this like little oh never mind i take that back i know what it is uh so i guess it's supposed to be like a little harpoon gun type of thing because i think what you're supposed to do is actually plug it in like that maybe yeah i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a harpoon gun type of thing that makes sense now and then you just plug it in like that I think there we go see harpoon gun that makes sense now what about this what does this do I think it's supposed to go at the end is it no I guess it's supposed to be at the ends here and that's like a little optional piece there but yeah that's pretty cool actually a little harpoon gun um so yeah, you get two of these staffs like I said you get this little hat for her. it's blue soft plastic you get that star there um and then you get these like little uh you get this hair piece so that way it looks like she actually still has her what the f oh wait that makes oh my goodness this is interesting yeah bald lady now missing part of her head and then you just slide that back on get that hair there Sit, sit there there we go that makes a lot of sense now huh that is interesting okay that's pretty cool um did not expect that i was trying to figure out what the ends were i thought those were like supposed to cover her ears but then i realized it's hair i'm like what the? and you get this little backpack here so nice camouflage clean, green wish they had a little bit more paint jobs maybe a little bit of red on the like stripes here or uh, some black on these little circle areas and then a black stripe there and you get this like little I guess recording thing they should have added red in there that would have been pretty cool too um but yeah and then you get to hide so like uh if you want to put the blades that you are not using just plug those in like that and then that other piece that I don't know what's really what it is really but I know it's supposed to go to the harpoon arrow thing staffs just like that and it's just in, for safekeeping when you're not using them and you get that little peg here and then you get this like little hook thing that you just place uh one of your harpoons on or whatever you want so yeah that's pretty cool and then yeah so for this there's a little peg there and it lets you rotate this and it also moves up and down like that so that's pretty cool um uh, and i don't think it has any more articulation besides that um but yeah there's all the accessories for you and you get that little hair piece for uh but let's go over the figure here so here's the face sculpt for you if it'll focus 
there we go. So you get the blue eyes, uh, short hair. Uh, it looks pretty good. I like the head sculpt. And then you get the green jacket overall. You get the blue device thing here. You get a little satchel for her. Uh, you put the knife in there. So you get that little holster for the knife. Just slip it in like that. And you get some more pouches for her. Uh, you get some brown in there for the detailing. You get a peg hold there for her uh, backpack to go in. Get some more brown straps around her shoulder too. Get darker green down the thigh area. You get black boots that look, actually I like the sculpt of the boots. Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool boots. Um, and then yeah, rolled up sleeves. You get the black gloves with some knuckle guards in there it looks like. So yeah. And then they're gun holding the hands too. And one cool thing, double jointed elbows that Hasbro, uh, I think said they're going to be working on for female characters now. Especially for Marvel Legends, they don't have any of those really. And I think if I remember correctly, the new Domino figure is going to be the first one. Well, besides She-Hulk, but she's the one. She's a little bit bigger. But Domino's going to be like the, one of the first female uh, figures that are going to have double jointed elbows, finally. But yeah, they don't have peg holes for her. And nothing at the knees either. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but besides that. Let's go over the articulation. So her head can hinge down that far, up that far. She can look left and right. Um, a little bit of head pivoting there. She also has a neck, I mean a ball joint for the neck. So you can kind of see that shift there. And then it also rotates too if you want to try doing that. Um, and then her shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed knees, finally. Uh, Wrists can hinge, I think, yeah, this hinge side to side. So down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. She has a diaphragm joint at the um, top torso area there, and also another ball joint at the hip. So with all those going, she can go forward just that far, not a whole lot. Backwards, a pretty good amount. That's pretty good. So she could do 360 rotation. I don't like the clicking noise. Um, she can go side to side. Pretty good. I think there's, yep, drop down hips still. So that's pretty cool. So you get her to kick out pretty dang far. Forward, a really good mount. Backwards, pretty good. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. There we go. Uh, boot cut. Ankles hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And here she is all set up. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. She kind of reminds me of Ripley from Alien, which I think is pretty cool still. Um, but yeah, here's her all set up with all of her gear on besides that little hair piece. But besides that, all the accessories that it comes with, you could fit it onto her. So like the gun she's holding it extra harpoons in there you got the extra blades inside the backpack you got the knife in there the backpack gets on her the only thing that's left out is the hair um but besides that's really cool um what they did with the hair so that's pretty unique of it uh, i figured to do that but besides that i think the figure is pretty good uh the only thing that i would say is a little more detailing like i always said with all the figures um probably like i said the backpack would probably need a little bit more paint a little p device here wherever it is i think it's supposed to be like a little camera drone thing uh add a little bit red in the circle area uh to give it that effect um but besides that good decent articulation just the uh the ball joints for the abs there going forward don't doesn't get a lot of range um but like i've said good figure um, so the thing that I'm, I was trying to say about that project is that I'm making a whole Snake Eyes outfit. So I got the helmet done and this chest piece done. I just need to paint it. Um, and then I got the other pieces going. I just need to grab all the clothing and stuff for it and the sword. Um, but besides that... I'm excited to get this thing done and show you guys what it's gonna be like. I love the helmet though. I think I did pretty cool. A good job on that. Um, 
but yeah, uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. I do uh, streams like GTA now, uh, Friday the 13th, and a few other things. But besides that, that's all I've got. Oh, <laughs>